Here's how to reset your iPhone without losing data. Now, if you're on your iPhone and you want it to reset everything back to the factory default, but you want it to make sure you don't lose your photos, your videos, all your apps, all that stuff, I'll show you how to do it. But first, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks, guys. Now, the first thing we'll do is head into your settings here, and we need to tap on your name at the very top. And then you can see midway down here is iCloud. Tap on that. And then again, midway down is iCloud backup. Let's tap on that. You can see here, it says last successful backup was yesterday at 10 p.m. I'm just gonna hit backup now. So just back up your entire iPhone to the iCloud. This will ensure that you don't lose any of the data on your iPhone, but you also want to tap on the backup at the bottom here and make sure all of the options for various apps are toggled on. So you'll be able to see it's loading here. It might take a little bit because I'm currently backing it up. But basically, you want to make sure everything is turned on so that you're backing up everything. So hit show all apps and make sure everything is toggled on. This will ensure you don't lose any data. Now, after we've done that, let's just go back here. After it's done backing up, we're going to tap on general. And then at the very bottom, we're going to hit transfer or reset iPhone. And from here, we can hit reset and we'll choose reset all settings. So tap on that and enter in the passcode for your phone. And now it will say this will reset all settings on your Apple Pay cards, your keys, your passes, no data or media will be deleted. So your entire iPhone settings will go back to the factory default, but you won't lose any of the data on your iPhone. So any of your photos, any of your texts, any of your apps, all of that stuff will still be on your phone. And you have that backup on the iCloud just in case there is ever an issue and you need to just bring everything back from the iCloud backup. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the like button down below and leave a comment if you used to have any questions. Thanks, guys.